Hello guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to design an antenna using the software MATLAB. Particularly, I'll show you how to design a helical antenna and you can do the same for other types of antenna also. Let's open MATLAB first. This is the code for generating a helical antenna and its and the figures like uh, the radiation pattern and other things okay i'll explain the code to you briefly okay this helix first of all this helix is a function which represents a helical antenna okay and this hx is just a variable and this can be anything you can write it as a or b or something and you have to write here also the same here also and here also the same thing first of all and this helix is a function which generates the helical antenna as i told and if you want more information of this helix you can type help and helix in the command window and you will get more information about helix and these uh, radius and other properties which it has parameters which it which it has can be seen in this okay you see a helix creates a helical antenna on a ground plane there is a ground plane okay there will be a ground plane and it has these properties radius width turn spacing winding direction and these are the properties which you can actually specify in this and you can give different values and see how an antenna looks like okay and i have given these values this e power my e in e minus 3 represents 10 power minus 3 this 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 it is nothing but 1.2 milli and there are seven turns in my antenna and spacing is 20 millimeter okay and uh, figure one which shows the antenna itself okay shows the antenna itself hx is antenna figure one shows the antenna itself and figure two i am i'm plotting radiation pattern it's a three-dimensional representation of your helical antenna okay with a frequency of 93.5 megahertz okay this is 10 power this e6 is 10 power min, 10 power 6 okay so with the frequency it accepts a frequency always the radiation pattern you should give two parameters one is the antenna and the frequency of operation for the antenna okay and the pattern elevation here it represents the elevation pattern it's a two-dimensional representation of this three-dimensional radiation pattern okay and uh, if you want to see how it actually looks like i'll show you i'll run the code later first i'll explain you what is this you will understand completely when i show you the figures okay pattern elevation actually is with respect to theta and uh, uh, the the angle theta that means the elevation uh, representation which is two dimensional representation of your um, radiation pattern okay and this is the pattern azimuth okay for the azimuth angle it will show the pattern it, it's also a uh, two-dimensional representation it's very difficult to analyze this three-dimensional representation so we go for this and this and other parameters of uh, antenna such as half bar beam width and fastener beam width and also all things can be calculated uh, when we go for this two-dimensional representations okay then we have the charge distribution of an antenna okay how the charge is distributed uh, throughout the antenna we can see and uh, the directivity uh, i have just printed the directivity what is the directivity actually it is it is not necessary it shows in the graph itself now i'll run the code see this is the antenna which we are which we have created just now and this is the radiation pattern and the third figure is the elevation pattern i'll show you one by one okay uh, this is the antenna which we have created you can go here and rotate 3d okay you can see how exactly it looks like and if you want to see where the see this is the, it shows this color is metal and this is feet this is the ground plane which we are looking at this metal plate is just the ground plate if you want to look the feet look into uh, where the feed is given you just zoom in the feed is exactly here okay you can uh, actually see where the feed is given you can see this is the feed point actually okay this is the uh, first graph which is antenna itself 
Okay, this is the second plot which we, which we did. This is the radiation pattern at 93.5 megahertz. And if you can see this, the, di, uh, the values are given here. Frequency is 93.5 megahertz. And the maximum value, maximum value of uh, the uh, power is uh, 1.73 dB isotropic. And minimum value is minus 38.4, okay? See, the minimum value is always here. This you can see here where uh, the, this is the uh, color map which shows how the power uh, is distributed. The red color represents highest power actually. This, uh, um, the dark red color. And this, uh, when it goes down, these are the uh, less power regions. Here, the re uh, power is very less, okay? Where uh, here you can see the, the top and the bot uh, bottom of your uh, uh, helix. It has very, very less power radiation. Only at the sides of uh, your helical antenna, there is a maximum radiation. That's why it is called as, uh, this is called as uh, the parallel mode or normal mode of uh, helical antenna, okay? And you, here you can see something is written EL and AZ. EL is nothing, is nothing but elevation and AZ is nothing but azimuth, okay? This direction is called as azimuth. This EL is nothing but uh, elevation, okay? When we take uh, elevation pattern, it, it will just just cut this radiation pattern in this axis, this, this uh, uh, circle you can see. It, it just cuts, cuts this radiation pattern with this circle and when we take azimuth it just cuts this uh, entire radiation pattern in this blue uh, circle okay you can see that go here uh, we will go to the azimuth and elevation patterns this is the azimuth pattern which i am looking at okay and here uh, no much information is represented with respect to the theta angle everything is uh, depicted okay and when you be go to the elevation pattern or pattern elevation if you want to see this is the uh, what you can say uh, the broadside array this this see this if you press and drag it will show you this is the broadside array which we'll say and if you press here and uh, antenna matrix if you press uh, it will show the actual half power beam width first null by press remove okay it will show the half power beam width first null see this half power beam width first null beam width and other parameters such as main main low main lobe what is the power radiated and back lobe what is the power radiated etc okay these are the things which we, which it shows and finally we have the charge distribution uh, this is the charge distribution how the charge is distributed along the antenna you cannot see more variations but the variations is at this feed point uh, the maximum charge is actually at the feed point. What is the maximum charge actually? It is 50 nanocoulomb per meter. This is the red color. And if you want to see the maximum feed point, I will zoom it here. See this. This is the feed point where maximum charge is uh, there. Okay. This is about the design of helical antenna. Okay. Finally, the directivity of the antenna in the direction from 0 to 90 degree is given from by uh, 0 to 90 degree it has very less uh, directivity and if we change the value of the uh, frequency let's say i'll change it to uh, 2.4 uh, gigahertz i have to change it everywhere wherever i have uh, 93.5 i have to change it to 2.4 gigahertz right if I change it to 2.4 gigahertz, since it is a very high frequency, at this frequency, this um, antenna works like works in axial mode, what we call as axial mode. The, in axial mode, the antenna uh, is uh, used everywhere. You, uh, it has very good applications in axial mode because it produces circular polarization in axial mode. I'll run the code again. You will see the um, actual mode uh, radiation pattern of uh, uh, helical antenna okay and even the directivity also we can see when we run the code okay uh, this is the uh, uh, same 
antenna which we designed this is the actual mode radiation pattern okay uh, and all these uh, values first we will see the radiation pattern see this is the radiation pattern here you can see actually clearly observe uh, the um, power the power radiated is maximum uh, perpendicular to the uh, axis okay perpendicular to the axis or uh, parallel to the axis whatever you can say uh, the, if the, but this direction at the top of your antenna there is maximum radiation okay here here there is maximum radiation and here you have a minimum radiation other directions and this is the circular uh, polarization because uh, because of the actual mode and because of the frequency uh, that's why the, for this uh, circular mode of, of operation is used in gps satellites and uh, somewhere else also uh, other applications are also there okay and again if you want to see the antenna matrix you can see the antenna matrix and here the half hour beam width is reduced to 47 uh, and personal beam width also uh, that uh, that time it was less okay and uh, now if you see the directivity of the antenna it is 12.0950 it's a very good directivity it's a directive it, it, it has a good directivity compared to the normal mode okay this is why it is highly used thank you and if you want to actually um, change uh, if you want to create uh, different types of antenna you just have to change the uh, name of uh, the antenna and uh, uh, the, the parameters you can see you can type help and uh, this name of the antennas um, and you can see which are all parameters it has okay and also this is the dipole antenna like dipole antenna if we do and if we give the p following parameters which it has and the uh, uh, values uh, it will take those values and it will show you how the antenna is okay uh, it will show you all the radiation pattern on the elevation patterns and charge distribution everything okay uh, this is it thank you